Happy New Year! This is that time of the year when many of you are asking, what are your New Year's resolutions? What do you want to accomplish this year? How many of you have, I will try to work out and get in shape? Yeah. I had this on my list for the past few years. And this year, I've actually decided I will not try to work out and get in shape. <laughs> Many of you are laughing or maybe wondering, well, why not? What's wrong with working out? Nothing. But it's not really true, is it? Because the truth is, I hate working out. I hate going to the gym. Um, I don't like to run because it hurts my legs. And every year I put it on my list and I don't get it done. And why is that? Because if I'm really honest with myself, what I do enjoy doing is doing things with my friends. So this year, I'm not going to try to work out, but I will lead a more active lifestyle doing the things I enjoy. So, to be honest, when we use the word try, what are we really saying? Aren't we really saying, I don't really want to do it, but for some reason I feel obligated to say that I will, so instead of saying I will, I just say, I'll try. For example, hey, are you going to so-and-so's party? Um, I'll try, meaning I really don't want to, but I feel kind of rude telling you that, so I'll just say I'll try. So here's another one. Will you invest in your people and build capabilities this year? I'll, I'll try. Meaning, I really, I know that's the right thing to say, because I'm the leader here, but in fact, I really don't have the energy or time to commit to it. Our words have meaning and power. There's actually a tremendous power when we say we're going to do versus try. I believe if we do that, we'll achieve at least two things. One will actually be able to achieve those goals and those results. The moment you actually say that you will or do versus try, there's something that shifts in your mind and there's a commitment that you make verbally. And you'll be able to actually achieve those things. If you say you'll try, you may or may not get there. If you do, you most certainly will. The second thing is you'll be able to increase trust and credibility. When others begin to see that your words have meaning, power, and intention, and that what you say matches your actions, you'll be able to increase credibility. And as you have more and more credibility, you'll naturally increase trust with other people. But most importantly, you'll have more trust in you. This year, a big theme for me is simplicity. So this month, we'll keep it really short and sweet. Have a wonderful new year. God bless.